This is code.org. That's what we're working on. Challenge, draw an image. Okay. Using variables, draw an image where many of the items rely on common variables for size or placement. For example, draw a face with variables controlling the size and or placement of the eyes, ears, nostrils. Once you have your drawing complete, try changing the, the values of your variables to make sure that your whole image changes together. For example, draw a face. Let's see what we have so far. I'm going to run. Why is it? Hello? Oh, there we are. Okay, so they've started us with some eyes. Interesting. So I guess I'll use their example. Now keep in mind, var is our variable. This isn't a great label if I'm going to use this for eyes. So I'm going to say literally, I don't know, eyes. Okay, and that way I know this is my eye size. So eyes and eyes. Now, if I want to move these around, you can see here an ellipse, X, Y, that's the location. So if I hover over these, down here you can see the number. It draws circles from the center, rectangles from the top left. So it's roughly at 150X, right? And then what is I's? I's is 50, so that's my Y. Look down here, 150 and 50. So that's where it draws it. It automatically picks a size. If I want to control the size, though, if I hit that little arrowy thing, you see these two blanks? I can also pick how big it is if I want. See? But I'm actually going to kill that off for now and just let pick the location. I might move these down a bit. So my X instead of, I mean, my Y instead of being 50 for the location, I might do, uh, I don't know. Y increases, this is 0Y, this is 400Y, so maybe I'll do 70. Reset run. Okay, I'm liking this, and no I'm not, I want 100. Perfect, and if these are going to be my eyes, let me go ahead and do a face, or the head, and that will be ellipse, boom, and this is going to draw at 200, 200, controlling the size and or placement. Let's go ahead and do 200, 200 would be center. And then for the how large, let's try, I don't know, 200, 200. Now notice this is gonna be covering up our eyes if we let it. I can show you what I mean. And that's because computers draw everything in order. So if I want the head to go behind everything, I need to pull this up. I'm also going to want to pick a fill color. So right now the face will be red or the head will be red, but so will the eyes. Let me do a fill here because we have to let the computer know what color we want before we ask it to draw the shapes. Code runs in order, so now the computer will go, okay, get yellow paint and then draw these eyes. Boom. Cool. And let me change this to a blue face. Okay. Now I'm thinking, let's go ahead and do a nose. Um, I don't know, let me be weird and do a rectangle for a nose. And then maybe 50, 50, 200, 200. Whoa. Oh, that's the width and the height. There I go. 200, 200, 50, 50. Let's try. <laughs> so rectangles are drawn from the top right. So that being said, let me look at my grid. And if I want it dead center and I'm going to make it 50, 50, I'd probably want to do like a... 175, 175, something like that. Cool, all right. And now I would want a variable, instead of using 175, to be, let's make this my mouth. I want a circle for a nose, because it's mine and I get to do that. So 200, 200 for X and Y, uh, maybe I'll make this 50, 50. And then my mouth is actually gonna be this rectangle. So I'm gonna move it down to 150, 250. 150x, 250. And then the size, 50 for the width. Now let's do, I don't know, a uh, 100 to make it larger. And then for the height, maybe 25. Let me hit reset run. The nice thing about code, run this a billion times to get it to something you like. So maybe to push this down more, I might do 275. Let me see where that is. Yeah. All right, now let's think variables here. I can pick what I want. Size is kind of fun to do with variables. So I already have my eyes for their Y location. Let me now do the noses width and height. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a variable. And I'm actually gonna say like nose, and I'm gonna say size maybe, so I know what this is. And I'll set it to 50 for now. 
Notice there's no space. You can't have a space there. And I'm going to put it both here and here. That way, when the computer runs this code, it will see, okay, 200, 200, no size. What the heck is that? Smack. Grabs the 50 and it knows, oh, the width is 50 and the height is 50. So this should be the same. And then for this, for the mouth size, I don't think I'm going to change the width because that will just make it grow this way. But maybe I'll set that to be the variable. So I'll say mouth height or something like this and do 25. And now I can use this variable right here, mouth height. All right. And I actually am going to have the mouth be red because why not? So I can go ahead and grab a fill, put that here, say red. Let's do reset red. And now try changing the values of your variables to make it, the whole image chain, image changes together to make sure that the whole image changes together. So we can use these variables. Let me do a, a 150 and then the no size is now a hundred and the height of the mouth is now uh, 50. And these changes are going to get made. If we want to be fancy, we could even make the nose and mouth size. So we could just call this, uh, I don't know, NM size the same. And so I can reuse a variable. And now I would say instead of this, NM size. And I can reuse this variable on both of these. And then I'm going to write it here for just the mouth height values. Reset run. Whoopsies, what did I do wrong here? And oops. Variables have to be exactly the same. Whoop, lowercase. It gets tricky, those get frustrating. Boom, and now I can make this really funny face. I can even throw ears on it, like I said, if I want. I might get my ears over here. Let me see where I'd want them. I'm going to put my ear at 0, 150Y. And I'll do 50 and 50. And then I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to copy this. Except instead of 150, this will be 350 to be all the way on the other side. Let's see. <laughs> and once again, I can use a variable right here for the ears. Ear size, maybe, and I'm going to say it's equal to 50 for now. And I can make changes to this and have the ear size change throughout. Lots of customization options, and this shows you how useful variables truly are. You don't have to go make a bazillion changes, even if you want to make a bazillion changes. I can just change my variable up at the top and change how everything appears. Pretty awesome. Onward.